Hi there, this is Blue Steel of Polytix.com, and today I'm going to give you a hands-on introduction to Comic Life. Comic Life is the um, comic book themed inspired program that I use to make a lot of the uh, illustrations and cartoons, political cartoons that you'll see on Polytix.com. Things like my banner up here, or uh, a little picture of GW saying sweet, and some other effects that I create, like even um, ad banners and things, or uh, contact me, this contact me banner entirely created in comic life. Uh, this banner here to advertise my new comic book, Barnyard Number no. 1. Um, that was made entirely in comic life. And then some of my cartoons too, like this, like my Bin Laden cartoon here. A uh, new bird called Gorge Jetted Puffleg was discovered in a cloud forest in Colombia. There's still nothing on Bin Laden. That was a joke by Amy Poehler. Kind of have my Bin Laden buddy with his with the little rare bird there on his shoulder. See that? All done in comic life. So, to start, let's open the program. I'm using a Mac here, so I'm going to click it down on my bar at the bottom of the screen. The program opens up, and there are th sort of four distinct areas of the comic life interface. You've got the stage here on the left, large stage, big white screen. And then over on the right, you have the library, which is where you can choose... Uh, the different comic book panels, or you can, or you can choose from a template which has different panels in it, and that corresponds to a page in a comic book. If you use a, a template like this one right here that I'm looking at, um, or the one at the top, A, that has one, two, three, four, five panels in it. Um, and if I were to grab that and drag it and let it go over here on the stage on the left, it would have, a, it would be, it would look like a comic book page with those five panels. And in each of the panels, you could put. Um, artwork or illustrations or photos and then add speech bubbles and text effects and things and, and make a comic book page. But I'm going to start with a really simple simple template that just has one panel in it. So I'm going to go to the built-in page templates. I'm going to choose basic. And here are some basic templates. I'm just going to grab this one right here and l drag that over and let it go on the stage. And that's just one big panel, which is sort of like how I do most of my political cartoons. You know, a lot of them are just one panel with images or artwork in it and then speech bubbles and things. So that's what I'm going to do is just a basic one right now. So now that I've got my panel on my stage, I'd like to put some artwork in it or a picture. So I'm going to actually go to a picture I found on the White House's website here. And I'm going to right click on the picture, copy the image, and I'm going to go back to Comic Life. And right in here, I'm going to click once to select that panel. Go to Edit and Paste. So there we go. I've got that picture pasted into my panel. And now I want to do, I want to add, I want to add something. I want the turkey to say something. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the screen. This is the area where you have um, your speech bubbles and your text effects and things. It says drag, drag these to your comic. And as you can see, there are all sorts of different types of speech panels. You have regular speech, you have the dashed line, which sort of signifies like um, somebody who's whispering or saying something, you know, in, that they're kind of shocked about. You've got thought bubbles, you have, um, you know, exclamation bubbles right there. You have these more blocky TV style bubbles. And then you can, this extender is how you, like if you have a conversation that goes on and on, it'll add a little extender between the speech bubbles to make it look like the conversation is continuing. But I'm going to start with just a regular speech bubble, a standard one here, and drag that over to the panel and let it go right above the turkey's head. I'm going to have him say, cool suit, with an exclamation point. And I click outside the bubble, and that sets that there. And see, it's, not, it's kind of in the way right now, but this is where Comic Life is so great. Is If you were to be using Photoshop to do this, you could still do it in Photoshop, but it's, it's harder to manipulate and alter the shape of the speech bubble. It's, it's not impossible, it's just harder than, you, than in Comic Life. If I, if I want to move this bubble, I can just drag it up a little bit, and Comic Life assigns these vector points like to the different parts of the object. It makes it really easy to move it around. See, I can change the little the, the speech direction thing so easily just by grabbing that point and moving it around. So I'm going to put that right in front of the turkey's mouth, move this box down a little bit, and it makes it look like turkey saying cool suit. I can alter the shape by, by moving these points around the speech bubble. Like say I want to make it, um, I want to make this bigger. So I'm going to grab this corner one and stretch it out a little bit. And I wanted to make it bigger because I want to actually make this font larger, a lot larger. So I'm going to come up here to where the, these two buttons on the toolbar up here, bigger, smaller, and click bigger, and click that a few times. There we go. And now you can see it says cool suit, and it's huge right there, like that. 
OK. And that's probably it for that. And then I want to add a text effect to my simple little cartoon here. And so I'm going to go back down here to where the speech bubbles are. And this one that says lettering, if I click that and drag it up here, and put it, I'll put it right about there, let it go. Then up above that, a uh, work window opens up where you can choose your font. You can choose the font you want to use. And this is where you actually type in the lettering that you want it to have. And then you say place lettering, and it'll put it there. So I'm going to start by changing the font. I'm going to choose a, a cool font here. I got this font that I like called Butta Boom. So I'm going to click that and then close this window. And now I'm going to type in Turkey's Rule. Turkey's Rule. With some exclamation points. See, you can see that up there and say place lettering. And should put it right down here. There we go. You can't really read it right now because there's special effects on in place on that, that text. But I, if I go over here to where the library is again, and I choose Details, when you choose Details, that's a context-sensitive screen. It depends on what object you have selected. So right now, I have this text effect selected. So when I click Details, all these uh, options that I have these, to modify the properties are specific to that text effect. Like I could uh, adjust the horizontal spread. I can keep clicking that. And what that did was it spread out the letters, made it a little easier to read, Turkey's Rule. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter some of the, the colors here. I can change the color. Instead of it being a gradient with yellow and red, I can make this. I can click yellow and choose a shade of blue. And then on the gradient, I'm going to change that to a darker shade of blue. And you can see, see what I did there. And then, you know, I can see right now there's different layers to the border. There's a white border and then a black outline to that. You can alter that by adjusting the, the count here. I'm lowering. Now there's only one layer of border right there, one layer of border. That's a black, black border around the blue lettering. But that's a little too thick, the border. So if I go to outline here and adjust the thickness down, see, turkey's rules. Let me click out of here so you can see what it looks like. And that's a lot easier to read. It's pretty cool. I'm going to move that. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. Now, also, if I want to adjust or alter the um, the way this, this appears, this text effect, I can alter it in so many different ways beyond what you can do from the details panel over to the right. I can actually grab these points and stretch the effect. Like I can make right here turkeys and grab that out, turkeys rule like that. And then I can even alter the um, angle. I can tilt it a little bit. That makes it, that's really cool, like that. So drag that over, you can see. And then I click out here, you can see what it looks like. Turkey's rule. It's right below the turkey. It's pretty neat, huh? Okay, and then now other effects like so I've got this image here. It looks pretty cool. I can play I can apply filters to images or illustrations to alter the way they look. So I'm gonna click once to select that panel. And if I go over here to style, I can alter the, the style. Right now I have the panel selected. So I'm just going to be, I'm going to alter the panel. Right now it's just a regular square block with a black border. I could change the border color here. I could click that and, you know, I could make it lighter. I could change it. I could make the border like a shade of red here. So now you can see my, my border is red. I have a red border instead of a black border. But I don't really like that, so I'm going to undo that. Back to the black border. If I double click in the panel, now I'm altering the image itself. I'm going to come over here to the filter. See, now the details, the details window, since it's context sensitive, all these options change from the text effects, you know, the properties for the text effects to the properties for the image itself. Like I could flip the image, you click that, and now I got the turkey's head over here and George over there, but that kind of threw off everything. It keeps the speech bubbles and everything where they were originally, so you'd have to move them over here, which is easy. You know, I could just click that and drag it over if I wanted to, but I'm going to I'm going to flip that back to the way it was. I'm going to apply a filter here to the image. I'm going to make it look like it's a comic book drawn, hand-drawn comic book. So you see what I did there? Now that image has sort of a comic-y effect. It doesn't, it doesn't affect the text effect. That still looks the way that it did I, because I wasn't clicking the text effect when I modified the properties. Um, other things I can do are... Well, now, let's say, say I'm done. I've got my simple cartoon done. It says, Cool Suit, Turkey's Rule. Now I'm going to export that to an image so I can post it on a website. So I'm going to go up to the File menu, and I'm going to go down to Export here. 